And on behalf of the entire family, and especially on behalf of my mother, I thank you all. And God bless you all. What can I say about the world's greatest dad? I know it's a cliche for a son to say that about his father. But to us, his children, he was simply the best and the greatest. Dad was honorable. He was kind. He was more than fair. He was gentle, loving, and so giving. He was always quick to forgive. He forgave anybody and everybody. He never ever kept a grudge or he was never pushed to get back at someone. It just wasn't in his nature. He loved us, his family. He was an incredible hus husband to my mother, a wonderful father to us, a loving grandfather, a patient teacher, and a dependable friend. He taught us so much, and more often than not, he taught us through his actions, for he was, a, he was a man of very few words. We learned so many things from him, and I miss him so much. I know we've had, we've had we have all had this before, that life is short, and you don't know what you have until it is gone. This has been my reality since his departure. My dad was tough on us, his children, more so on my brother, because he was older than me. In retrospect, there was wisdom in this. I am also humbled by my mom's strength over the past few days and her ability to focus on the amazing life she shared with my dad and not dwell on what he ha she has lost. I hope that through this I can find strength from her example and be there for her whenever she needs me. For years, mom and dad shared everything life could offer together. They were a great team supporting each other in every way. I remember growing up, my dad used to work a lot, travel a lot. We would move from province to province or district to district. Senator asked how many schools we went to. I went to eight primary schools in my life. My dad would not have us stay in another town and him stay in another town. I remember one time I asked my mother, why does dad work so much? She looked at me and said, all fathers work hard. All fathers work a lot. I didn't realize it then. But that was one of the biggest lessons I learned from my father, the value of hard work. He woke up every day, put on his shoes, and went to work. Even when he was unwell, he would get up and go to work. He truly believed that if you work hard, treated people with respect, helped where you could, and with a little luck, from God, you will have a meaningful life. He showed strength and love right up until his last days with us. I loved my dad. I loved the times I spent with him, whether it was just talking at home, at his workplace, or on the, on the campaign trail because there were always lessons to be learned. I just realized this very mon uh, morning that the month of Ramadan has started. This is a month where families get together, break their fast together, and worship together. This will be the first month of Ramadan in my life that I spend without my dear father.
is not lost on me. And I can never forget that I'm here today as a senator of Garissa County due to the grace of God and because of the heritage my father has left. He bequeathed us, his children, with something more valuable than, than all the treasures of this world. He left us with incredible and reliable friends. Many friends. I can't even keep up with all of them. Who are still sending us messages of what he meant to them. We are truly blessed and grateful to our late father. I pray to God like a son prays for his late father, that God receives him in his mercy, protect him from the trials of the grave, provide him with light and honorable company in the grave. And I pray to God to wipe all away all his sins and grant him the highest accord. Amen. It is said that we must not only hope for the best, but also work for it. <laughs>